Living friends, today our lesson is about subtraction of fractions. But kung bago ka pa sa aking channel, please do subscribe and click the notification bell so that you'll be updated for my coming videos. Shout out muna kay Attorney Rico Amores from Lapu Lapu City, Attorney Carlo Fortuna from Mandawi City, and Attorney Rocky Maliki III from Davao City. And to all my pupils in Babaguan Elementary School, Shout out din sa DepEd Lapu Lapu City Superintendent Dr. Wilfrida Bungalos at sa aming principal na si Miss Linda Pugoy. Okay, let's start. So, subtract the following fractions. So, number one example is 3 tenths minus 2 tenths. So, again, uh, tingnan mo yung mga denominators if they are the same or not. So, kung the same denominators is like this, 10 and 10, the same, just copy the same denominator which is 10 you will only subtract the numerator. So, ito sa taas. So, 3 minus 2 equals 1. So, the answer here is 1 tenths or 1 over 10. Okay, number 2. 5 eighths minus 2 eighths. So, again, dito, they have the same denominator. So, just copy the same denominator, 8. Then, you will only subtract the numerator. So, 5 minus 2 equals 3. So, the answer here is 3 eighths or 3 over 8. So, example number 3. So, here we have 4 6 minus 2 fifth. So, in this example, they have different denominators. So, yung unang denominator is 6. Dito is 5. So, hindi makatulad yung denominator. So, again... If a fraction has different denominators, uh, you will look for the LCD. So, napag-aralan natin to yung LCD nung last natin lesson. So, the least common denominator. So, paano pagkuha? So, you just list down the two denominators. So, una yung 6, then yung 5. So, hanapin natin ang LCD. Through listing of the multiples of the number. So, ito, 6. So, what are the multiples of 6? So, 6 times 1 is 6. Then, 6 times 2, 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is 24. Then, 6 times 5 is 13. Okay, stop muna tayo. Dito muna tayo sa baba. So, yung unang number na mag magiging pareha nila is yung, yun na yung LCD. So, multiples of 5. So, 5, then 10, 15, 20, 25. Next is 30. So, meron ng magkaparehong number. So, ito yung 30. So, ito na yung LCD or the least common denominator. So, again, what will you do next? So, you put another line here and here. So, isulat mo dito yung LCD. So, 30 yung LCD. Then, the next step, if you can remember, so you will divide. So, 30 divided by 6 equals 5. So, anong gaw gawin dito? I-multiply mo sa numerator. So, 5 times 4 is 20. Then, dito the same step, no? Divide mo muna. So, 30 divided by 5, that is 6. Then, i-multiply dito sa numerator. 6 times 2 is 12. Okay, now... So, dito, the same na ang denominator, which is 30. So, isulat mo lang yung same denominator, 30. So, ang i-subtract mo, ito lang yung mga numerators. So, 20, so 20, i-minus mo sa 12. Okay. Let's try to subtract this one. So, 0 minus 2 cannot be. So, borrow 1 from here, ito'y magiging 1, ito'y magiging 10. So, subtract. 10 times, uh, 10, 10. Minus 2, that is 8. 1 minus 1, 0 na yun. So, the answer is 8. So, 8 over 30 yung answer. But, question, is this the final answer? No. Hindi pa ito yung final answer because 8 over 30 can be reduced to lowest terms. So, paano i-reduce? So, hanap ka ng number na pwede mong i-divide sa kanilang dalawa. So, ano kaya yun? So, we can... Okay, try natin yung 2. No? So, itong 8 at 30, they can be divided by 2 para ma-reduce. 
Okay, divide. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Then, 30 divided by 2 equals 15. So, ito na yung final answer. So, 4 over 15. Hindi na pwedeng ma-reduce to final answer na kasi wala na silang uh, common uh, multiple. So, 4 over 15. Okay, example number 4. 5 eighths minus 2 six. So, again, ito'y magkaiba ang kanilang denominator. So, dito 8, dito 6. So, again, hanapin natin yung LCD ng 8 at 6. Okay, again, the same, the same no, method. Uh, list down the 2 denominators at hanapin natin yung mga multiples nila. At yung unang number na magkapareho, yun yung LCD. So, multiples of 8. So, 8 times 1, 8. Times 2, 16. 8 times 3, 24. 8 times 4, 32. 8 times 5 is 40. Okay, stop po na dyan. Dito, dito na naman. 6 times 1, 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. Then, 6 times 4 is 24. Meron nang nagka-pareho. Yung number 24. So, stop na dyan. So, yan na ang LCD. So, lagay na natin dito yung LCD. 24. So, next step, the same pa rin, ating i-divide, no? So, 24 divided by 8, that is 3. Then, 3 times 5, that is 15. Okay. Here, 24 divided by 6 is 4. Then, 4 times 2 is 8. Okay. Meron na lang the same denominator, which is 24. So, anong gagawin sa same denominator? So, just copy 24. So, ang i-subtract mo lang yung numerators, 15 at saka 8. So, 15 minus 8, that is 7. So, 7. So, the answer here is 7 over 24. Okay, example number 5. 4 over 9 minus 2 fifths. So, same naman, no? Uh, they have different denominators 9 at saka 5. So, same step pa rin. Hanapin pa rin ang LCD. So, lista mo lang ang 9 at saka yung 5. So, multiples of 9 is 9. Then, 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 3, 27. 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 5 is 45. Okay, stop muna. Dito naman sa baba. 5. So, multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45. So, meron ng pareha, di ba? Yung number 45. So, ang unang magkapareho, ay yun na ang LCD. So, 45 is their LCD. So, lista na ito. So, 45 LCD. So, divide, divide natin yun sa 9. So, 45 divided by 9, that is 5. So, multiply 5 sa numerator. So, 5 times 4 is 20. And same step dito. So, 45 divided by 5, that is 9. Then, 9 times 2 is 18. Okay. Erase mo natin dito sa baba. Okay, put a line here. So, the same na denominator, 45. So, just copy, 45. Ang subtract mo, yun lang ang mga numerator. So, 20 at saka 18 ang subtract. So, 20 minus 18. Okay, subtract. 0 minus 8 cannot be. So, borrow 1 from 2. Ito ay magiging 1. Ito ay magiging 10. So, 10 minus 8, that is 2. 1 minus 1, 0 na yan. So, 2 ang answer. So, the answer is 2 over 45. Final answer. So, hanggang dito na lang muna tayo mga bata. So, if you are done watching and you have learned something, please do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Paalam!